Alrighty folks, I'm going to show you how to make uh, an old family uh, pie recipe uh, that my mom used to make. Uh, I'm going to use the strawberries out of the garden I picked yesterday. You can see that video. I'll put the link down below for uh, harvesting them strawberries. But you're also going to need some glaze. I thought we called it gel, but you know, they call it glaze now or something. Uh, some Cool Whip. And if you don't want Cool Whip, you can use some uh, whipped cream. That goes on when you're ready to serve. And of course your graham cracker uh, pie crust. The graham cracker just makes it taste so much better. But uh, let's get to it. What I got to do is I got to trim, still got to trim the uh, uh, stems and the tops off these uh, strawberries. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. Uh, go ahead and get you a sharp knife and just uh, trim off the tops. Throw them in the sink. Use the whole strawberry. These ain't big like the GMO ones at the grocery store. Use it out of your garden. They're, getting, they're starting to get bigger considering the mother plant's only three years old. I go through and cut the stems in that little green little cap off there and throw her on in there. Kind of still kind of take a look at them, make sure they ain't got no them uh, bug holes. Buttholes. <laughs> bug holes, not butthole. Oh. Oh gosh. Yeah, well, I ain't gonna bore you with sitting having you sit here and watch all this uh, me going through all this. It's time consuming, but um, I'll I'll be back with you. Alright, about ready to... Alrighty, I'm about ready to finish up here. Just get these little tiny ones in there. Might as well. Shits and giggles. Now we're ready for... Uh, strawberries! See how many... Now we're ready to see how many strawberries are... Well, fitting this pie. Now make sure you got enough strawberries for the pie. Uh, go ahead and take that out of there. Make sure you ain't got no glue in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the strawberries inside this before I actually put them on the pie crust. Try not to spill all these all over the counter. Oh. It's a little bit too much. I might take out a few of them. Quite a few of them, maybe. Because you kind of just want it like level. So, uh, hey, Nick. Hey. Grab you a couple strawberries deep. <laughs> Oh, so good. All right, me and the sun pretty much uh, much a few of them. Yeah, it's pretty much level. I guess it don't have to be perfect, but um, now it's time to dump these into a mixing bowl. Put them into a mixing bowl. start off with one container of the glaze. Where is that at? Don't, no idea. Where do we put it? <laughs> Where is the glaze? Oh, right over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 13.13 uh, and a half ounce container. Oh yeah. Spotlight. You don't need that quick. Oh, it smells good. And take the contents of the container and just dump it in there. And then spoon out the rest. It looks like jelly. It does. Well, it's gel. I guess you can say it's kind of... 
think one one container will do fine because that, that pile is pretty much full. What are we use what are we gonna use the other thing for? We're make another one. We get more strawberries. Oh yeah! And just kinda take the uh just take your spoon and stir it up. Get that gel all over the strawberries. It smells really good. It does, don't it? Now you can do whatever you want with this recipe. I mean, if you want to add some other berries or well, the mul mulberries haven't came in yet, I mean, that'd be mine. Yeah, mulberries the best. That's, if I got strawberries when I got the mulberries, when we go harvest some mulberries, when we go harvest some mulberries, I'll definitely have some mulberries in here. It's time to get this stuff into the pie crust. So go ahead and take your lid off that. I'm gonna have to wash this lid. lid off. And now all you gotta do is just spoon your uh, mixture there into the crust. Just kind of dump it a little bit at a time so you don't really really don't want to overflow this. Make sure it goes down in a little crevice down there in the, in the pie crust. A bit more so. Yeah, it's going to use it all. Use it all. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Strawberries. And when you get it in there, just kind of push everything to the end of the pie crust. Nobody likes a dry pie crust, anyways. At least I don't. Strawberries. There you go. That you go ahead and give it to the kids. <laughs> Let them lick on, lick on the bowl. I'd say go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for about two hours. Get that glaze nice and chilled, and we'll pull it out when we serve it. We'll throw on the uh, the Cool Whip that we have, or if you don't want to use Cool Whip, uh, you can use the whipped cream. Oh man, look at this! Look at that! Nice chilled strawberry glazed pie. You guys better get you guys some plates. Not Nick, he's outside. <laughs> get the old Cool Whip out here, right there, Cool Whip. Take the Bin Laden uh, terrorist seal off there. <laughs> the kids are sitting here impatiently, but everybody knows you gotta kind of whip the cream a little bit. We'll set that off to the side there. Strawberries. Go ahead and slice it. Now when you slice the pie, you only can take like a piece at a time. Oh my. Here, you're going to have to... Pie crust must have broke. Oh man. There's a crack in the crust, so... There we go. Kind of doing it. There you go, Mary. I'll give you a couple extra strawberries. Thanks. There you go. Hold on. Perf got strawberries. Perfect. Get you a big old scoop of Cool Whip. Or if you want to use whipped cream, you can use whipped cream. There you go. Strawberry glazed pie. Enjoy it, Nick. I'm even going to give you the, the scooper spoon. Yes! Fork.
<laughs> Haley brought this nice little cool little uh, pie knife thingy, my bob. Put the plate over here. Oh, here, I'll give you some more. Put that big old chunk of pie crust. Get in here. Strawberries. Okay. Oh. That's my piece. Oh, lucky daddy's holding it together. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let me get all the extra strawberry dress. Get me a big old scoop of this cool whip. Oh shit, I need that one. Oh, there you go. Perfect. When you guys go ahead and uh, try this recipe out, uh, tweak it however you want it, uh, let me know what you think. Because, man, I'll tell you what. Oh. It's so good. Uh, hey, don't forget to click the like button. Comment to me. Let me know what you think, man. I don't hear nothing from nobody. And subscribe to the channel. See ya.